Hey, what's up guys? I'm Oakley Hydef, and today we're going to be covering weapons, armor, and vehicles uh, customization. This comes from the GDC uh, Bungie's panel on Destiny. Go ahead and check out our video we made covering the races and classes. That's another way to customize your character. But we're going to be focusing on the gear, weapons, armor, and vehicles. So in this uh, panel, Bungie had a, an hour to discuss their world building techniques. And for Destiny, they talked largely about how do you define each individual hero, how do you give each player enough customization to make themselves stand out. So what they talked about at one part of the panel was fashion. They wanted to make clothes and accessories uh, and all sorts of customizable options that players would actually want uh, to unlock for their character and would want to look into. So you can see here they had a lot of inspiration, you know, you can have makeup, decoration, tattoos, accessories, all sorts of stuff to make your character, your persona, your hero in the game stand out even more. So uh, right here, for example, this is some of the armor variations. Uh, they said once you pick up and find armor, you can mix and match it. So they put a lot of work into make it look sort of cohesive. So this is going to be Titan armor. It's got a V silhouette. It's big and bulky. But within that, you can mix and match it. And they wanted it to be customizable, but still have a unifying theme to it. Um, so right here, I think this looks great. And you can unlock exotic or rare armor pieces along with different uh, you know, weapons. There's a huge variation in customization, uh, in color palette, all this cool stuff that you can pick up rare and exotic items. Uh, over here this is going to be for the hunter. You can see the hunter already has a different kind of look. Um, they are going to be 50% armor, 50% cloth, and you can see just the sheer level of detail and color variation here that you'll be able to look into. But within each of these main classes, there are three classes, Titan, Warlock, and Hunter. Each of them is going to have their particular sort of type of clothing, but within each of those you're going to have a lot of variation. Uh, and here this is going to be the Warlock, so instead of the V uh, silhouette, they're going to have an inverted V where the bottom is kind of wider because of their cloaks, so you can see that unifying theme, as well as the hem the helmet and the, the hidden face. Um, but again, within that you see a lot of customization, sort of desert or urban um, attire, and it all looks really cool, and it'll all be mixed and matched together, sort of on a modular level. Here this is some of the more exotic cloaks that you can pick out. Um, and yeah, it looks cool. They've stated that there will be some cloaks that you can get that glow. Um, I don't know if they'll have special abilities attached to them, but they do have cool aesthetic qualities that show off that you've found some cool rare items out there. And again, I'm going to stress, and what they stress is it's going to make you stand out more as an individual. It's going to sort of prompt you to go and want to look for, uh, for rare gear out there in the universe. And in the panel, Bungie talked about the fact that they originally wanted their game to be a fantasy world, so knights and castles and all this stuff. So um, they ended up mixing that with a sci-fi feel where you have a, um, a blending of the two ideas. And so what you see in Destiny is, um, and this is uh, one of their early ideas for the game when they wanted to be a more fantasy sort of medieval setting and here you can see how it transitioned over into uh, a sci-fi look and this is one of their postcards sort of something that uh, showed what they wanted to do with the game and here you can see uh, you know the cloaks they kind of look like knights but the futuristic knights and on the left you can see one of the spaceships the spaceships is going to be the steed of your uh, your future knight here you can see the contrasting of an ancient tomb with this uh, gold and the weapons and the guns and all this stuff. So it's the two themes coming together, and I don't think they clash. I think they come well together. Uh, and you're going to have a lot of opportunities to explore um, these various places, find loot, and uh, adorn your character. There's also a whole variety of guns you can see here, different types of classes, and a huge amount of variation. They said that each of these guns is built with a sort of a modular effect, so that means they mix and match various pieces. I don't know if you can customize your weapons, but it does seem like uh, you know each of the weapons will have similar characteristics, but you can uh, find weapons with more attachments, more abilities. On the left you can see rocket launchers, right you can see heavy machine guns, so they have a huge variety of weapons. So along with the variety of weapons which have different abilities, you'll also see more specific weapons. So on the top left that's going to be named Thorn, uh, on the top right that's Pocket Infinity, bottom that's Super Good Advice. Um, so you'll find these uh, these different weapons everywhere with their own names and characteristics and abilities that show that if you've collected this and you've been to this certain area of the game, you know there's going to be these rare exclusive items that you can find around the world. And I think that's really cool. And here you can see a, sort of an early footage from the PS4 gameplay that we did see of one of the snipers in action. You can see it has camo on it. So you might also be able to customize your weapons in terms of the camouflage and the, uh, the painting you have on it. Um, now another thing that has... Uh, it wasn't mentioned in, or I, I guess they did mention it, that um, you will have spaceships. 
Um, it's not known if you can actually drive them, but I think you will use them to go from location to location. So here you can see various spaceships. You can deck them out. You can get various leveled spaceships. And I think it's going to be important for, for looking throughout the, uh, the galaxy, um, traveling between the various planets, going from the tower um, to different areas. And uh, yeah, you can deck them out. You can customize them. But again, I'm not sure if you can actually use them. Uh, and at various points in the conference, uh, Bungie talked about a central hangar where players would go and drop off their ships, and that would be a place for them to show off their ships, the customization, show off their armor. So there are going to be these focal points where you can go and you can show off what you've unlocked. Uh, also in terms of vehicles, this is the Pike. Um, it's kind of like comparable to Halo's Ghost. But that's about it for vehicles and the customization we saw at GDC. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. We'll bring you more details as they come out. And of course, check out the other videos where we delve into more details from the GDC. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this coverage and uh, we'll be bringing you guys more in the near future. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.